regime is, um, in a sense, brainwashing Peruvians to think of the, its indigenous peoples as second-class citizens, as barbarians, as, um, as, as, as horrible people, because uh, they are showing on the news every hour. Um, it, because what happened in confrontations, I'll give you a little bit of the backstory. Um, over 600 police attacked peaceful protesters this last Friday um, in the Bagua region of Peru. They surrounded them uh, around 2 a.m. in the morning, and then around 5 a.m. they opened fire on them. Uh, the, the the ones that surrendered there, there there was uh, peaceful protesters they surrendered they were shot multiple times even after being shot once there was families there was women there was children um, they opened fire from helicopters they were throwing tear gas and um, Alan Garcia ordered the attack and ordered this this massacre on his people. And um, and and it was so appalling to to see that because for over 56 days there was a peaceful protest and then things just switched. Alan Garcia gave the order to attack, gave the order to clear out the blockades that these indigenous peoples were peacefully protesting and blocking, and um, named the indigenous peoples as terrorists. Therefore, um, therefore, allowing allowing this 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 massacre on them, and um, and it just Corianka, what they are doing. Yeah, you're speaking to us from the United States, so you're headed to Peru, and I know there's a major march in yes. Lima tomorrow. Will you be at that march? Yes. Um, I really do hope so. I, I, would, I, I really want to be there. What would you like President Obama to do? Uh, part of what is happening in Peru is uh, the free trade agreement with the United States. I'm, I wish I had Obama's cell phone number or something to, because, I mean, my people are getting massacred over there, and and CNN had a report that they are worried that um, that what happened on Friday in ba in the Bagua region is going to happen within 48 hours um, in the cities of Urimaguas and Taripoto, and they're worried that this is going to happen. And can I just say that it it's it's really it's really horrible. They're they're dumping bodies. Uh, to hide the actual c count of how many are dead. Um, they're, they're dumping bodies in plastic bags from helicopters into canyons and rivers. They're just discarding them. And, um, I mean, I would love President Obama to get involved. I, he, he is, you know, the hope for the future. He's the hope for the young people. And I just urge him to step up because... Um, Part of what is happening is the free trade agreement with the United States. This is one of the laws passed which opens up the Peruvian Amazon to uh, extractive companies e to, to allow easy access. And, and, and I mean, I'm not too involved with the political side. I'm still trying to wrap my head around it myself because it's so much. Um, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> Well, Corianka Kilcher, have a safe trip to Peru, and we hope to get a report back to you on what is happening there uh, once you are there and see with your own eyes. Corianka thank Kilcher. You. And yes. Thank you. I just wanted to add one thing to everybody. Um, just know that we cannot eat, drink, or breathe money or profit, and some things don't have a price. They, they, they really have value, though. So, thank, thank you so you. much. Uh, Corianka Kilcher is a Hollywood actress, outspoken activist on indigenous Peruvian issues and indigenous issues around the world. She was shortlisted for the Academy Award for her role as Pocahontas in the 2005 film The New World.